Hey, how's it going, Brett? Thanks for taking the time of your day to watch this video that I made for you. Um, in this video analysis, I'm going to show you exactly where your top competitors are, how much market is available to you, um, and exactly what it's going to take to dominate the space online for uh, restaurant consulting here in San Diego. Okay. Um, so as you can see, we're on my business site. My company's Amp Local. We're an internet marketing agency here in San Diego. Uh, so please visit the site for more information and to see the other services that we offer. Um, so uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go over some relevant information that you may or may not know. Right. So over 90% of the population, when they need a product or service, they're going to use Google. Okay, Google is the most powerful, popular way to extract information from the internet. All right, and 96% of them, when they search the keyword search, whatever it is, they're going to click on the very first page. 96%, only 4% go past the first page. So the goal for us is to get your business ranked at the top of the Google Map listings here and the organic listings here. And just to give you an idea of what that looks like, if you're ranked number one, you corner 35% of all the clicks. So if you're number one in maps and organic, that's potentially 70% of all of the clicks to uh, to the first page of Google. So that's huge. That could be very huge for your business. And just to give you an idea, number 11 is where page two starts, and you can see there's barely 1% there. So that's not where we want to have you. Um, so for someone that find your service they would simply have to be typing in restaurant consulting or restaurant consultants um, you know or restaurant marketing is another keyword and just to show you I'm able to access all the keywords um, that people are searching on Google um, restaurant consulting alone gets searched on average 20 times per month 20 times so that's just restaurant consulting in San Diego now some other keywords Restaurant consultants, uh, restaurant consultant, you know, restaurant consulting firms, food consultants, um, top restaurant consulting firms, all of these keywords. I mean, there's hundreds of keywords people are using, um, and they're all pretty low volume, um, you know, at least 10 searches per keyword a month. But just to show you, I do have access to all the keywords, and look at this here. On average, about you know, 1,600 to 1,800 times per month, someone is searching for that service, um, and they're using you know various types of keywords to to find you. So that's a potential 1,800 customers per month potentially if we rank you <laughs> in every single keyword. All right, um, but you know if if we get the business obviously ranked in 20 to 50 keywords, I mean that would be huge for you. That could be. Uh, you know 200 to 500 leads per month all right so you could uh, exponentially grow your business um, using um, my SEO methods as I'm going to show you here in this video um, so I got your information from your uh, the guy that you sent over um, Sigmund pen food um, I understand you emulate him and he is successful here in San Diego however for this one major keyword the most popular keyword search uh, is restaurant consulting San Diego um, and his business is ranked uh, actually number five okay so there's a couple others ahead of him and number one being rest uh, real restaurant solutions so I don't know if you know who this guy is but he's ranked number one for this one keyword Okay, and he's ranked in a bunch of other ones as well. So this is how much business he's getting per month to his website. So he's seen as much as 30 to 35 clicks to his website per month. Um, you know, in the past couple months through the new year, he's gotten like two to four leads per month, okay, which isn't bad. Um, you're, the guy that you sent me, he's on a different uh, boat, though, uh, he's actually not getting any attention to his website right now. Um, so that's that's probably because he's ranked number five. The number one guy's taking all the business. Um, I have to say, this market niche that you're getting yourself into, I think it's phenomenal. There's huge potential. And it's what I like to say or like to call low-hanging fruit. Um, because when I look at the maps for this keyword search right here, I only see one company that is locally listed in Google Maps 
and that's Johnson Restaurant Consulting, and he doesn't even have a website. There's no emblem here saying he has a website. These other guys aren't even Googly, uh, they aren't even listed locally. So they're missing out on tons of action. These, this guy right here, even though he's ranked organically, he's missing out on tons of action. Look, this is an advertising agency event planner. These aren't even professional services for uh, restaurant consultants um, specifically. So to be able to dominate this space, it's going to be fairly easy, I have to say. Um, you know, SEO is a process, you know, and there's things have to be done. But I'm, I'm telling you that this niche market is very low. It's real low hanging fruit. And I'm really excited to get into this with you um, and help you grow your business because it's going to be very good for you. Um, so with that being said, how do we do it? Okay. How do we get you to dominate these searches? All right. Um, so Google has an algorithm. It has 200 determining factors. Uh, I'm not going to talk about all of them. I'm only going to talk to you about four of the very most important ones. Once we nail these, everything else kind of falls into place. Um, the first thing I want to talk to you about is uh, authoritative content. Now, you don't have your website set up yet, so I'm doing this based off of the number one guy, which is realrestaurantsolutions.com, um, since he has the most pull in the in the city for his services. So this is his website here. Okay, um, authoritative content. So when we go to the home page, Google wants to know: Are you educating the consumer? Meaning, are you did you put ample amount of information on the home page that is relevant to a restaurant consultant in San Diego? Are you mentioning all the keywords that we mentioned? Look at all these keywords to rank the businesses. All, all these keywords have to be mentioned on the home page of Google in some way, shape, or form. Okay, At least 20 to 50 or so. And you want to have at least 1,000 to 2,000 words of authoritative content. So for this guy, um, you know, if I'm doing his analysis, I'm pretty much just going to do his analysis and show you what I'm doing and how it's done. But he has, you know, maybe four to five hundred words on his homepage, which is he's hurting, you know, because as soon as we drop your website in there and it has a thousand to two thousand words with all the keyword research built in, Google's going to be like, wow, look at this guy. I'm going to give him the top spot because he's uh, got so much more uh, relevant information on his website. Um, so some other key factors too that are kind of on the side that I do pay attention to um, are media files like pictures and videos. Um, those have to be named accordingly. They have to be relevant to you know your service in the city. Um, so I'd be curious to know you know are these pictures even named what they're supposed to be named, um, and chances are they're not. Um, so yeah, he's definitely missing out on authoritative content. So let me give you an example of what I mean, what that looks like. Okay, so I went to Google, I typed in um, elephant, can't spell. So look what's number one, Wikipedia. All right, Google's notorious for popping up number one for these single word searches is because they're authoritative content. Look at all the information on this page, relevant about elephants, um, the habitat, evolution, what they eat, everything you need to know about elephants. This is like 50,000 plus words, okay? I just want to give you an idea. This is excessive, but that's what I'm talking about. Just thick, knit, gritty, relevant, uh, informative information. Uh, 1,000, 2,000 words, all right? I we'll really want to beat that one in because this one is very, very important. These keywords have to be mentioned to get ranked. All right, next, being mobile friendly. So 60 to 80% of people, when they're looking for that product or service, they're actually going to be using their phone all right, they're like desktop view is like a thing of the past. Everything is so mobile now. All right, so you got to look great on the phone, and Google takes it very serious. So your web web design, I know you're doing Wix. Um, sometimes Wix doesn't convert very well. It it doesn't respond to mobile devices. So this may be something else we have to look at. You know, I mentioned my Weebly platform. It's very responsive, very user friendly, very Google friendly. That's why we love it. Um, but it has to be responsive. Uh, to a mobile device. So for these guys, uh, real restaurant solutions, they are mobile friendly. So they did meet that criteria. All right. Um, so next, I'm going to talk about local listings. Okay. We also call these citations. Um, so for this guy, he has a 91% error rate. Let me explain what's going on here. These things are directly responsible for getting you ranked um, number one in the maps right here. All right. 
so for him, you want to be when you do them, you have to have your business name, address, and phone number identical across all the platforms. All right. Some examples are Google, Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, Yelp, Yellow Pages, and White Pages. All right. So it looks like so he does have a very high error rate. And again, I'm I'm going to say it, this is low hanging fruit for you. If this guy's number one with this error rate, he's not even Google verified. So he's not even shown in maps. Um, so he does have a Facebook with the right information, but look at all these listings he's not listed in. He's got a couple here, but look, so many listings he's missing. This is the top 50 in the country. We want to get your business listed in all of these, um, and you'll t you will take the number one spot in Google for um, for maps very easily once we get you listed and Google verified that your local uh, San Diego you're a local San Diego business. Here's another thing that's hurting him. He's his address is in San Marcos. Okay, so this is going to be huge when we Google verify you. We it has to be San Diego, all right. It has to be a San Diego, um, the city of San Diego with the zip code San Diego. So this is another thing that's hurting him, all right. So, um, let's see what else we got here. So these are the top 50 in the country. Um, there's actually thousands. We want to get you listed in hundreds over time. Definitely the top 50 though. All right. So that's citations. This, this one's huge. It's crazy how low hanging fruit this is. Actually, I'm surprised I didn't find it beforehand. <laughs> I want to talk to you about lead generation. That's another thing that I do, but let me move on and we'll talk about that later. Um, Next, backlinks. We also call these influence pages. Okay, so say you have a client thoroughly impressed with your services. Maybe they have a website or write a blog. Most likely, if they have a restaurant, they're going to have a website or a blog. Um, what's going to happen is, uh, you know, whoever's writing their blogs is going to mention you uh, in the website or blog. So anyone reading the article can click the link and go to your website. Now you have a new prospect, but most importantly, Google takes this as a vote. All right, so Google is a big popularity contest. It's just like running for president. Um, the more votes you have, the more chances you are going to win. So again, this guy is ranked number one, all right? This guy is ranked number one, and he's, let me explain these numbers. Let me, <laughs> I know you, you hear excitement in my voice, but let me explain. So this is saying there's four websites mentioned him 30, 13 times, okay? I got to tell you, that's very low. This is what is kicking me right now this trust flow number of number one of one that's not saying he's number one that's saying that is a qual that's the quality of these domains so let me show you this chart real quick so he's at a trust this is the trust flow chart meter okay he's at a one look where he's at he's not even meeting low quality which is at a three so what's phenomenal about my company is we actually have unlimited amounts of backlink high quality backlink domains to link your business to and they're all 20 and 25 plus they're all off the charts super super high quality okay um, just to give you an example I should I'll show you one of my clients uh, right off the bat on on this video um, one of my clients is San Diego Auto Connection in uh, Mission Valley I mean you're you're in Mission Valley so you probably know who they are so let me just copy I've been doing their SEO since uh, early January, and these guys have just been killing it in the rankings. Um, so, look at where their trust flow is at 22, very high, all right, very, very high. And they have 90, I've linked them um, to tons of different backlinks, uh, domains, and backlinks. All right, so they have a very high uh, trust flow. So, that's huge for you to understand. Um, I'll go back here and type in the keyword. So there, one one of the biggest keywords for them is San Diego auto dealers, as people searching for nowadays. Um, so here they are, ranked number three, or uh, in the maps and number one organics. And when I first took them on, you couldn't even find them on the first or second page. So these guys are killing it. Um, but that's a little case study action I just threw in there for you. Um, so that's backlinks. All right, so, and that actually, you know, for the gist of it, that pretty much wraps up um, my analysis. You know what, I'm going to give you some bonus material here. Um, so, I mentioned lead generation earlier. Uh, just to show you an example of what I've done for my limousine party bus guys. Um, I rank, I also rank websites 
in different parts of the city to pull leads back to a business owner. So this website right here, EscondidoPartyBus.com, it's ranked number two organically and it's just dominating number one in the local maps. So I just want to show you real quick um, this, this lead generation website that I'm routing leads to. Um, so since for three in the past three months they've gotten 573 phone calls these are 573 people actively searching for a party bus or limousine company um, in here in San Diego and this is not to mention the emails um, I believe in the past three email emails they've uh, in three months they've also gotten over 300 emails um, so they're pushing since I've you know since the beginning of the year they're pushing a thousand leads you know which is crazy um, so that's like 3,000 leads per year. I mean, uh, at 500 bucks a pop, these guys are killing it. But anyway, that's just some bonus material, just to kind of show you what I'm cap what uh, my company is capable of. Um, you know, the SEO services get the getting the businesses ranked at the top of the searches, the lead generation, building out custom sites in multiple areas to pull leads back to uh, one business owner. Um, I did mention to you the um, AdWords uh, campaign um, earlier that can give you instant ROI. You'll experience at least 400% um, you know, ROI. So if you spend 500 bucks a month, you're going to get at least two grand. Now, that depends on your services. I don't know how much you charge for, for uh, restaurant consulting in San Diego, but um, you, know, you can potentially see a lot more than just 400 percent i mean you could see a thousand percent it just kind of depends on what you charge but that's usually the average um for our clients you know um and then of course the web design uh building you a google mobile friendly web design um and then we also have uh our automated business phone systems these phone systems actually if somebody went to like every website has a contact form like even these guys right your number one competitor in San Diego. He's even got a contact form. Look, put your name, your number. Um, let me see. Uh, actually, this guy, see, he doesn't even have a uh, phone number. You should have a phone number here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go over to my Party Bus website. So you see how this has, like, uh, you know, leave your information, your name, number, and email. This is what you want to have in a uh, in a website. So what happens is this phone system actually converts the email uh, into an instant phone call so you know your chances of closing a client goes up by 2100 percent whenever you do this so I actually have had my uh, partner make a whole video about this so you can go to my website under services and San Diego phone systems and internet leads um, it shows you exactly how this thing works. Um, it increases your chances of closing cloud by 2100% because if you don't get with him within five minutes, um, he's going to call your competitor and you're going to lose that business, right? So this, this is a great way of getting um, in touch with him immediately because a lot of people don't always leave. Um, you know, they don't always call. Sometimes they want to just leave their information and you know e email me later but no it's best to get them on the phone and, and get them closed up so just another option you know we, we, we offer a lot of different um, services so uh, you can check out like I said just check out the website I really hope all this made sense to you um, for your business um, we really love to work with you and and uh, watch your business grow um, so again I really appreciate the time um, give me a call after this and we could set up a time to meet, you know, I'm, I'm available. I think for the rest of the week, I'm not really available until maybe around three or three 30. Um, but I could start putting you on my schedule during uh, business hours, I think starting Monday. So just let me know. Um, but again, thanks for the time. It's been great, Brett. Uh, and I'll be hearing from you soon. Have a good day.